Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So today I'm playing again in my new mini circle art journal. This is the small eight inch one. And I just thought I'd have a bit of a play with circles today. So I will show you what I've done and then I'll join you again at the end of the video. So I'm starting off with some matte medium and some postcard tissue paper from Papermania, which is a British company. I'm just going to scrunch it all up and then I'm going to stick it down onto my mini circle page with the Mod Podge. And once I'm happy, it's all nicely stuck down and not going to go anywhere. I'm going to bring up my heat gun and give it a nice little dry before we move on to the next step. I'm going to add my first colour base layer. I'm going to use this yellow ochre acrylic paint from Reeves. And I'm going to apply it over the entire surface with a baby wipe to make sure that I get in all the looks and crannies and that it nicely covers everything um, but also gives it a kind of a textured effect. So everything's now nice and covered but it's not quite as dark as I wanted it to be so I'm just going to add a little bit more just to try and darken it up a little bit. So I'm happy with the depth of colour with that now so I'm just going to clean off the excess from my fingers and then bring out the heat gun just to give it a dry before we can trim all the excess off from around the edge. Everything's nice and dry so I'm just going to find my scissors and then just trim off all of the excess tissue paper from around the outside of my circle journal. So we're all now nice, neat and tidy and we're ready to move on. For the next step I'm using the Limo Circles stamp set from Indigo Blue designed by Limo Weber and I'm going to use a sheet of Alice in Wonderland old book text. This is a very old book, dates back to the 1950s and this is a piece of cut and dry foam which I'm also going to be used to apply the paint and I'm going to be using the deep turquoise acrylic paint from Reeves that you can see here. So I'm going to use a selection of the different circle stamps. But first of all, I'm going to load up the acrylic paints onto the cut and dry foam. Now I'm going to push the paint into the foam on this cut and dry, and that way it's going to create um, almost like an, an ink pad, a custom ink pad that you can use for coloring up and using with your stamp, as you'll see. So I'm just pushing the paint into the sponge uh, or the foam on that piece of cut and dry, and then I'm just going to dab it over the top, just lightly, and then stamp down using the acrylic paint. 
it's a great way to breathe new life into any of your acrylic paints if you use them um, for stamping. And I know a lot of people don't realize that you can use acrylic paints for stamping, but the trick is you must remember to wash your stamps straight away in cold water afterwards, because otherwise the paint will dry and you will ruin your stamps. And it has to be cold water because if you use hot, it will still speed up the drying process for the paint. I know it sounds weird, but it does. So use cold water when cleaning your stamps, but you must do it straight away after you've finished using them. So as you can see I've used a variety of different stamps from this stamp set and a variety of the different sizes and I've not had to replenish the paint in that cut and dry at all whilst I've done this. I'm still using that same first loading so it does go a real long way. Because you're using acrylic paint on paper, then it also dries very, very quickly on the paper. So literally, I'm done. So I'm now going to grab a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut out all of the circles that I've stamped onto that book text. So I've gone into super speed. This is about 400 times the normal speed because obviously this is a bit of a laboring process and you don't particularly want to sit and watch me cutting out for the next 20 minutes, do you? No, I know you don't. So all the circles that I need are now cut out. I've done them all by hand. I've not used a punch or, or anything mechanical. So some of them are not exactly perfect, but that just adds to the charm. And using the matte medium from Mod Podge, I'm just going to now stick these down um, onto my background piece. And I've got an idea of how I want the layout to look in my mind. So I will be following that plan.
So I'm now pretty happy with the layout. It's come together exactly how I saw it in my head. So I'm just going to heat it and then we can move on. Still using the Limo circles. I've got ones that I haven't used before and I've got the Jet Black Archiver Link from Ranger and I'm now going to just stamp using the three different sizes of that same design. I'm just going to fill in some of the gaps with those stamped circles. So as you can see the circles come in three different sizes, each design has three different sizes. So this is now the next one smaller to the larger one that I've just used. And this one is the smallest of the three so I'll just use that as an infill piece. So happy with the layout with that now, so I'm just going to clean off the stamps, which is something you don't see me do very often, but then again I don't use stamps very often, and then we can move on. So to finish off this page then I'm going to use one of the phrases from the small talk stickers from Tim Holtz in Ideology, and I've already picked out the one that I want to use for this page, and this phrase, or this quote, reads, it's always the small pieces that make the big picture, which I thought was rather apt for this kind of um, collage, if you like, or mosaic of circles. So all I'm doing now is just using the foodball pen just to sign and date it and then I'm happy that this page is now complete. I hope you enjoyed watching that little art journal page. It's surprising what you can do when you incorporate um, a specific stamp set into the design of an art journal page. And as it's a circle, using the Limo Circles stamp set seemed kind of a natural thing to do. And I think it come out quite nice. So I'm very happy with it anyway. So if you enjoyed it, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video, just here. That's all from me for now, and I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.